There is something satisfying about drawing maps, especially if it's of a fictional time or place or alternate reality. As you draw, as you add all those unique little undulations, as you raise the mountains from the plains and push down the valleys, as you pour water across the land and watch it settle into rivers and lakes and watch it make its way to the sea, as you plant forests and swamps, as you choose the best locations and build the cities from the ground up, as you determine the national boundaries and landmark names, as you do all the things it takes to draw a map, a sense of satisfaction and fascination comes over you. Your mind spins as you think of all the forces of time and nature and human interaction that brought this place to the way it is now. Who first explored it? Who founded the cities and why? What challenges did this nation or place encounter? Were they once part of a bigger entity? What language do they speak? How do they dress? What kind of technology do they have? Are they in medieval times or the Stone Age or the Space Age? Even beyond that, how good is their infrastructure? What is their education like? If they even have formal education, who's in charge? Who really holds the power? How did the rich get wealthy? And why are they impoverished in the condition that they are? Are they a violent people or peace-loving? Who lives in that city? Who lives in that town? Who lives on that street, in that house, in that bedroom? How many siblings do they have and do they get along well? What do they like doing for fun? And what are their daily struggles? What about the next door neighbor? What did he have for breakfast? Where did he get the food? Is it meat from an animal? What kind of animal? The same animals we have here on Earth? Or something entirely different? Where does it live and what does it eat? Is it a pack animal or a loner? And where is it in the food chain? As you can see, there's an endless number of questions you can ask yourself and build the story in your head as you go. This is why it's so fun for me. You can try it too. It's not hard.